All righty, gang, Melissa has formed. It has winds of 50 to 60 miles per hour, is steadily strengthening, and now we have a cone from the National Hurricane Center. But notice, it's not really cone-shaped, it's more circular. That basically means this thing is stalling, parking for days on end. Hurricane watches are now in effect in Haiti, including Port-au-Prince, and then we have tropical storm watches in effect in Jamaica. But the biggest question, where is this thing going? Will Melissa bring a flood disaster to Hispaniola and in particular Haiti? Or will it kind of whir westwards, strengthen perhaps rapidly, and fringe or impact Jamaica? TBD, there's a lot to discuss, so let's break it down. Here's a system right now on satellite, and we finally had a low-level center form. But notice, I've annotated where it is. It's kind of in the western end of all the convection, the shower thunderstorm activity. All the heavier storms are off to the east. That's because of disruptive shear, changing winds with height. And basically, the winds at the mid-levels have sort of knocked this storm off kilter, blowing all the heavier thunderstorms to the right, to the east of the center. So the whole thing's lopsided. Now, interestingly, that shear doesn't really relax soon. Melissa's trying to organize, trying to sort of straighten itself out, but it's being buffeted and pushed and pulled by winds going in different directions at different levels. And so it will be sort of slow to strengthen, especially considering we have dry air on the eastern side of the system. Now, neither of these two factors are enough to prevent strengthening, but they will slow the strengthening. That's why the National Hurricane Center only projects a Category 1, borderline Category 2, even five days from now. Now, let's also talk about where Melissa is going. This force field of high pressure to the north is suppressing Melissa south, basically preventing it from moving anywhere north anytime soon. The Google DeepMind model shows a range of scenarios, different possibilities, and the bulk of them depict this storm slowing down and stalling south of Hispaniola for two or three days. It might not really start to move until like Friday or Saturday. Now, if it does manage to go north and impact Hispaniola, that would probably be sometime Friday or Saturday, like we said, as a Category 1, maybe Category 2 hurricane. It would bring serious rain and likely flooding and mudslides. If it continues west, it would have more time over the waters, and the waters are very warm. The European model does indeed bring Melissa farther west, possibly south and even west of Jamaica. That might be a bit extreme, but keeps it over the waters for a long enough time that it gets going to maybe a more significant hurricane. But it doesn't really budge until like Saturday, Sunday. So again, multiple different scenarios. The stall is the biggest wild card right now. How long does that last? And now you can view all the shifting scenarios in the MyRadar app using the spaghetti model feature. This shows you all the different options on the table. It's built into the Hurricane Tracker feature. We just added it. It's one of my favorite features. Highly recommend. That's why I say for now, everybody in the orange has to start preparing for possible hurricane impacts. We're talking very heavy rains and or wind or surge at the coastline. Not everybody in the orange will see impacts, but somebody likely will. So Jamaica is now in the zone too. Let's just sort of prepare just in case. And of course, stay tuned back here for frequent updates in the days ahead. Follow My Radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, and Windows.